Blood. You need it to live, but you never want to see it. But what is the liquid that keeps us alive and what does it do? Blood has three main functions in the human body. Firstly, it takes useful nutrients and materials to where they're needed. More than half of your blood is plasma, a clear liquid. Plasma carries sugar and special chemicals called hormones. These useful materials are carried to the muscles and organs, like cargo ships on a river. The heart is the pump that pushes this river around the body. But if plasma is clear, why is blood a red color? This is because of the red blood cells, which are also in the plasma. Red blood cells are tiny little red discs that can hold lots of oxygen. The muscles need oxygen to burn the sugar to make energy. When the blood is full of oxygen, it's bright red. When the oxygen has been used up, it turns a darker color. The second function is removing waste products and flushing them out of the body. When your body burns the sugar and oxygen, it produces waste products like a car's exhaust pipe. The main one is carbon dioxide, which can be harmful if it isn't removed. The red blood cells take carbon dioxide from the muscles to your lungs for you to breathe out. The other waste materials are taken out of your blood by the liver and the kidneys. Thirdly, the blood helps defend the body from harmful viruses and bacteria. As well as red blood cells, your blood contains an army of soldiers called white blood cells. When the body detects an invader, the blood carries lots of white blood cells to the scene of the invasion. These soldiers swallow the invaders whole, like a whale eating a fish. Your blood also contains cells called platelets that form a scab when you cut yourself. Without the platelets, we'd all bleed everywhere each time we got a little scratch. So next time you see a bit of blood, don't freak out. You make about 42 milliliters a day. That's about a soda can per week.